2.12 Algebraic and Graphical Solutions of Simultaneous Equations. This is part of my Further Maths Ultimate Revision Guide. This is in the Algebra section. This index button here on YouTube will take you back to the index for Algebra. And then down here, uh, links to practice questions will appear. Okay, although it says Graphical Solutions, I'm not going to focus on Graphical Solutions. It's usually an algebraic solution. If it's graphical, you just have to draw them out and see where they cross. But algebraic solutions, we've got three different types here. We've got the basic type, you'll have seen lots at GCSE Maths, where you have two linear equations, usually in this sort of format, where you have the x and y's on the left-hand side and a number on the right. Um, it could be that they, they, they mess about a bit and, and you'd have to rearrange it to get into this format. This is this is best or quickest so, quickly solved by using um, the standard elimination method, which is in this case would be to multiply through by a number on this equation and this equation to make either the x or y the same. And clearly, if you've done this, you, you will know this is you've got to have to multiply this top equation by five and this bottom equation by three. And when you multiply an equation, you must multiply every term in the equation. Um, by the number to make sure it all balances out. If we do that, we'll get the top equation times by 5 is 15x plus 25y equals 170. And the bottom equation times by 3 is 15x plus 9y equals 90. And then we're just going to subtract those two equations to get rid of the x's. 22y minus 9y, uh, sorry, well, I've got 22, that should be 25. 25y minus 9y is going to be 16y. 170 take, 170 take away 90 is going to leave us 80. And then if we divide by 16, we get y equals 5. So that's one solution. That's the, the y part of the solution. Always with these, you have to go back in through the, one of the equations, any one of the equations, to find the x for, or the other one, the other unknown, so either the x or the y, in this case, the x. So I'm just going to put um, y equals 5 into um, this, I'm going to use this top equation here. So we've got 3x plus 5 lots of y, and y is 5, we just found that, which is 25, equals 34. So we take away the 25 to get 3x equals um, 9, and divide by the 3 to get x equals 3. So x equals 3 and y equals 5. So that's just the basic standard stuff. You should really know how to do that already. Now, um, this is a sort of question you might get it also at GCSE level, but it would be one of the uh, A-star questions where you've got um, some uh, second order power of x or y or both, and then, and then a linear equation, and you've got to substitute um, one of these into this equation. The best one to substitute is the one that's on its own. So x here, if we rearrange just to get x on its own, so we've got x equals 9 take away 2y, that allows us then to substitute that value of x, or this x, which is this value, into this x squared. So we replace the x squared with the 9 minus 2y, because that's what x is. So x would be 9 minus 2y squared plus y squared equals 45 and that's that's allowed us to substitute um, an expression with y in it so we've only got y's in the equation now now we need to multiply out this bracket it's a double bracket um, be careful not to just do 9 times 9 and minus 2y times minus 2y it's going to be four terms in here you're going to have the 9 times the 9 which is 81 you're going to have the 9 times minus 2y is minus 18y then you're going to have the minus 2y times the 9 from the second bracket which is going to give us another minus 18y and we've got minus 2y squared which is plus 4y squared and then we've got this plus y squared and that all equals 45 so we need to simplify this side up a bit so we've got 81 minus 18 minus 80 is minus 36y 4y squared plus y squared is 5y squared, and that's 45. So this is a quadratic in y, so it's got a power. We can solve this, hopefully, by factorising. Let's take the 45 over to this side. Um, if we take it away, then we need to uh, have 36 minus 36y 
plus 5y squared equals 0. Just to get it in a bit more of a familiar format, we'll just put the y, at the, the y squared at the front. And then we've got to factorise it. Um, you can have 5y in one bracket, y in the other bracket, that's how we make the y squared. Thinking of numbers that multiply to give us 36, a sort of clue here is this is also 36, so I'm thinking it's probably going to be 6 and 6. Um, and because this is a plus and this is a minus, these both have to be minuses. So we get minus 6 times 5y, which is minus 30. Minus 6 times y is minus 6y, so that's minus 36y, and that gives us the plus 36, so that's ideal. So then we need to know what makes this bracket 0, what makes this bracket 0. So this one is clearly just a y equals 6, because 6 to 6 is 0. And this one we need to do, um, we need to do y equals 6 divided by 5. Because when we times 6 divided by 5 by 5, we get 6, and 6 to 6 makes that 0. And with each y, there's going to be an appropriate x, so when x is equal to 9 minus 2y. So when x, y, sorry, when y equals 6, we've got 9 minus 2 lots of 6, which is minus 9 minus 12, which is negative 3. And then when y equals 6 over 5, we're going to have double, um, double 6 over 5, which is 12 over 5, which is 2 and 2 fifths. I'm going to write this one down. So we've got 9 minus uh, 12 over 5, which is 2 and 2 fifths which is going to be uh, that's 7, so that's 6 and 3 fifths, or 6.6. Um, .6. I'm going to write it as a fraction, 6 and 3 fifths. Okay, um, and now we've got this this equation. This, this is sort of slightly unusual. We've got x, y equals 6, and then this um, linear equation here. Now there's two two options here. I could try to make x equal to six over y, and then substitute that value of x into here. Um, I could uh, make this so that I've got say two y, um, take two y to this side, seven over to this side. So two y equals five x minus seven. So y is going to be five x minus seven over two. This is slightly preferable because it's over 2 rather than over a letter. Um, so I'm going to use this one and then replace this y in this expression with this. I could use this and replace this x with this 6 over y and then multiply 3 by y. That would work as well. But I'm going to do it this way. So we've got x times y, which is 5x minus 7 all over 2 equals 6. Um, Multiply that out, so we've got x times this. In fact, I'm going to times through it by 2 first. So I'm just going to say x, for x, 5x minus 7 equals 12. That's got rid of the 2 on the bottom by times in throughout by 2. Times the expression 2 gets rid of this 2, and times by 2 makes this 12. And then I'm going to multiply out this bracket. I get 5x squared minus 7x. Then I'm going to bring the 12 over to this side. It's minus 12 equals 0. And now I'm going to have to try and factorise this. So, so a little bit like the last one, we're going to have 5x and x. And how are we going to make um, 12 and minus, minus 12 and minus 7? Well, you should try um, write down all the possible things. So 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. These are the numbers that multiply to give me 12. And I want minus 12. And I want minus 7. So probably the bigger one is going to be negative. I'll try that first. And we'll try this first one. So if I have 1 and minus 12, well, I don't want the minus 12 times 5 because that would be minus 60. It's far too big. But if I have minus 12 here and 1 here, get minus 12x plus 5x gives me the minus 7. It happens to be the first one that works. Ideal. And then we need to just solve this. So x is going to be equal to minus 1 because that makes this bracket 0. Um, or what makes this bracket 0 is when x is equal to um, 12 over 5. Because when we times by 5 we get 12 and 12 take away 12 is 0. And that gives me um, 
another solution. So when x is minus 1, y is going to be equal to, um, going back to this, this expression here, y is going to be equal to 5 lots of minus 1 minus 7. So that's minus 5. Minus 7 is minus 12. Divided by 2 is minus 6. And then to go with this 5 over 12, um, sorry, 12 over 5. Oops. To go with the 12 over 5, um, we're going to have 5 lots of 12 over 5, which is just 12. Take away 7 is 5, and divided by 2 is 5 over 2, or 2.5, or 2.5. Okay, so there's, that's how we go about solving this. It's all about getting something on its own, and that, with the harder ones, get something on its own, and then substitute that. Um, into the other equation. We did it over here, we substituted this value of x, y, 9 minus 2y in for x to get rid of all the x's, so we got an equation just in y, and this one we got an equation just in x. Then we solve for that value, and then we place that back into the, one of the equations to get the other values. Okay, so that's how we do algebraic simultaneous equations at this level.